Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you something really cool and it looks like this. So over here, I've got this ball of light. And what you can do with this is just uh, and run it through your whole body like that and then shoot it out your eyes. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. You don't have to do that with it necessarily. The opportunity to use this technique is immense. So I'm going to show you a few different ways that you can use it for different things. Let's jump into the computer and I'll show you what's up. Alright guys, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. We've got our timeline set up. We've got our clips in our media pool. All we're working with today is this five second clip of this guy playing with his doorstop. That's it. I thought it'd be fun to put a light show on there, so we're gonna make sure we get this selected. We're gonna go into Fusion. Then once your Fusion loads up, you're gonna move these to the middle just so it's easier to work with. You're gonna make sure neither of these are selected. If they are like that, just double click anywhere else and then you're good to go. So, first thing we're gonna do is add a background. Then we're gonna add a paint node and whoop, not two of them, just one. And then with this selected, we're gonna hit Shift Space. We're going to type in soft glow, add that right there in sequence, and then to finish setting this up, we're going to add a merge node. We're going to drag this over this line, hold shift, and then let go of our mouse, then let go of shift. Now it's in between those, it's stuck in there, we've placed it in this path. So we're going to drag our soft glow onto our merge, and we're going to completely lose our footage. But that's okay, because the next step is to click on your background, drop this alpha slider all the way down to zero, and our footage is back. So, to do this, you're gonna need to use this paintbrush here. If you wanna change the size or the hardness of it, you come over to brush controls right here. You can make it absolutely immense, or you can make it absolutely minuscule, a little tiny, you can't even see it kind of stuff. But we are going to leave it just ever so slightly smaller than what is normal there, so we get something looking like that. If you want to change the color of your light that you're drawing with here, you're not going to use these sliders because they won't do anything for you because soft glow is overlaid on top of your paint. So if you want to change the color, click on soft glow, go over here to color scale, and pick your color. So if you go back to paint real quick, make a little line, you can see what color you're working with. You just mess with that until you find something you're happy with. I'm just going to leave it at white for now, just because it's a good color for light to be, I guess. Then we're going to pop back into our paint tool here so that we can paint. We're going to find the moment he releases that doorstop. Do, 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 Come on, dude. Let's go. Right there. Okay. And then I'm going to trace the end of this doorstop through its path. And if we go forward a frame, you'll see that that disappears. That's because we're using this multi-stroke button right here. And that's going to only draw on your current frame. If you have something stationary that's not going to be moving at all, you just want it to glow a little bit, you can use this stroke button right here, and that will persist throughout your frames. But I tend to stay away from that one because it doesn't move at all, so if there's any motion in your shot whatsoever, you're going to be off of where you want it to be. So I generally go through frame by frame and draw these out. Now this process can, can indeed, get a little bit tedious, but the effects that you get from it look really cool. There are some big channels, maybe not huge channels, but bigger channels that are doing this. One that comes to mind is Blotter Media. They make a lot of like dance videos and they put these lines to accent the movements that the dancers are making. It's really cool. They make a lot of music videos too with similar effects. You can put these lines really on anything. It's just up to your creativity, I guess, for the most part. So whatever you want to color in, just color in, color on, you can outline things, you can do whatever you really need to do. I'm going to go through this just a little bit more and then we're going to see what result we have with the lines that we've made. Alright, so now that we've got a few of these frames animated, we're going to go back and just see what it looks like. 
And you're gonna wanna do this multiple times while you're going just to make sure that everything flows properly like it should. In this one, I'm not worried about flow too much. I'm just worried about getting you going with this technique. So we're gonna go ahead and hit play and see what this little doorstop looks like with these lines that I've drawn. It's not just a vibrating doorstop anymore. It's got punch to it. Like it's got that extra pizzazz that's going to set this video apart from the original footage. That's it for today. I mean, do what you can with this. Do what you want with this. Apply it to your footage. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. And if you'd like to learn about DaVinci Resolve, check out my DaVinci Resolve tutorials playlist on screen right now and in the description down below because there's some cool stuff in there that you'll definitely learn from. All right, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.